I got I to gotta talk about this one because holy crap. Air Force 41, Nevada 39 in triple overtime. Post-game win expectancy from college football data was Air Force 99%. Can you explain to me how in the world we get to a 99% post-game win expectancy on a game that ended up coming down to two-point conversions? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what goes into that formulation, but Nevada was getting their butt kicked early on and, and finally was able to do some of the stuff we thought they were able, they were able to do. Well, Carson mean, Strong, by the way, Force. let me interrupt you. Carson Strong did not okay. look right early. Like he no, looked. Dude, he like, like, not like something was off, but like his body was not working. He took that big hit. They zoomed yes. in on his, on his bleeding and everything. But I mean, he, he had that. What really got me is like, I think in the second quarter, he had maybe a 12 or 15 yard scramble, Gary, that physically hurt me to watch. Yes. I, I was just like, dude, I don't even know if he should be out there right now. Um, and then he threw an interception that was, you know, tipped in a bad read or whatever. And he kind of made like he was going to make the tackle and he was hopping, staying off of that one leg. It looked yeah. like he was just, it looked like he wasn't right. So maybe they got him the good stuff at halftime because I mean, they went really well. I think also the halftime breather not only helped Navy or Nevada's uh, defense adjust because they were getting killed on the pitch. They weren't getting killed inside. They were getting killed because they were stacking inside and Air Force was just pitching it. And, uh, and the outside was just ruining those guys. But I, I, I think they got a breather and an adjustment. And so that kind of stopped Air Force's offense only seven uh, points um, in the second half. Uh, but, but really, I mean... If Nevada had just not gotten shell shocked so early, I think that they could have won this game by a couple scores. For Nevada to come back and score 21, 21 to seven in the in the second quarter or second half, and then lose in third overtime, I wish they would just. I wish they had just let us have the blowout. Like I wish Air Force yeah. had just won by <laughs> twenty points. <laughs> that's yeah. Kyle had uh, had Nevada minus one and a half, and and that's brutal to lose that on a on a two point conversion. Do you have the the numbers for? Air Force on this game by chance? Are, are they are they done yeah, up I already? So. Uh, I'm curious the echo rate for Air Force in this ball game. They they had a touchdown uh, drive that was 19 plays, 75 yards. They had a another touchdown drive that was six plays, 66 yards. They had a uh, let's see, field goal drive that was like seven plays, 28. What there was, I mean, one that was on downs. Like they they turned the ball over on downs. They went 12 plays, 58 yards, and took like seven minutes. Like the drives were insane to watch from them because they are so efficient on offense. I was, I was curious about the equal rate. Yeah. So I have 11, they had 11 drives and six of those were quality possessions. So 54%, I guess, Eh, which is, is pretty solid and above their season average. And then you look at it. I mean, they went for it at fourth and one at the Nevada 17 and they didn't get it. They kicked a field goal after having, what was that? First and 10 at the Nevada 32. And so, I mean, they were they were really pushing them around, especially in the first half there. And then that fumble was first and ten at the Nevada twenty eight. They had, I think. No, that's no, that's the next drive. This play by play is a mess. So that was first and ten in Nevada territory at the at the forty three. That one wasn't technically a quality possession, but it was close. And so, I mean, they they really put the ball. I mean, they did a really really good job, especially in that first half. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.